Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? I'm doing freaking awesome. I just got done watching the World Cup. It was Mexico versus Brazil and Brazil is pretty much the favorite to win the World Cup. And Mexico has played pretty good against uh, against Brazil. We did beat them. Mexico did beat Brazil for the London Olympics. But the Olympics does not compare even close to the World Cup. The World Cup is just insane. It's just it's different. Uh, the vibe is the vibe is different. Uh, everything is different. Now I know it's probably a commentary that most of you guys won't like. I mean, maybe you guys are not even soccer fans at all. But for me, in my opinion, soccer is the best sport in the world, no matter what. I know here in the U.S. it's football and or baseball and I love football and I love baseball, but nothing really compares with soccer with me. Uh, there's one word, and I think this word you could say in any language, and they understand what you're saying. The word goal. Just the word goal. Everybody knows that word. Everywhere around the world, no matter where you go. And I believe, I believe that soccer is the best sport in the world, and I'll, I'll tell you why. First of all, you have just straight 90 minutes of 11 versus 11. Just trying to get one ball to, you know, into the, the goal box. I, I, I know, I know, I know you guys know what, uh, you guys understand what I mean. I know football is a little bit different. Football is just, uh, I mean, it's mostly the quarterback and the receivers and the running back doing the work. Now, yes, if the linemen do not block or if they're horrible, then the quarterback can do nothing. But here in soccer, it's a different type of tactic. You, you just have, your team has to click for you to be able to be a dominant team. That's why Brazil is a strong team. Germany is a super strong team, which I think, I think it's either going to be Brazil, Argentina, or Germany who are going to win this World Cup. This is just my opinion. I mean, I wish it'd be Mexico, but Mexico still needs a long way to go to be that dominant. Uh, it's just crazy. I mean, this game that I was watching with Brazil and Mexico, oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I had maybe five times uh, the soul come out of my body and just... <laughs> you know, just, oh my gosh, just our goalie from Mexico. He just, he saved our butt, like, maybe like five times. One ball, one of the balls is right, it was right on the line. Now, this is the difference in uh, American football. In, uh, the ball has to at least touch the line to be able to be either a first down or a touchdown. In soccer... The ball completely has to cross the plane, cross the line completely. That's a goal or that's an outside. You know, it's, it's out of bounds or whatever you want to call it. But, man, I, I know uh, there was one comment that I heard on the radio that I thought was inappropriate. Some guy, you know, it's my local radio station, a sports radio station, and they were saying, why should we watch soccer and some guy just said, you know, that soccer was just a, a sport for poor people because they can't afford any football equipment or any other type of equipment. And, you know, that's that's kind of smack to the face to the whole world. You know, that just shows, that shows the bad side of the U.S. and why a lot of other countries hate the U.S. It's for ignorant people like that. Um, you know, if... If people wanted to play a sport, they would. They would make pads. They would make helmets. Even if they're whack or just, you know, just not worth wearing them, they would do it if they wanted that. Because in Mexico or in any other part of the world that has poverty, especially Brazil or Colombia, any other country, let me tell you guys, there's kids that play barefooted. The ball, the ball is just an uh, ugly ball. It, sometimes it doesn't even have any air. Your goals are, they're not even goal posts. They don't even play on grass. They play out in the street with either 
a backpack and a pair of shoes that's your post from one side to the other your backpacks on the right post and your shoes or your shirt is the left post and that's how you play that's how you play and man I remember you know there used to be at least five teams lined up just to play you know whoever won stayed in the game and whoever lost you know had to go out and wait their turn until you know it was a rotation like that and you could play for hours and hours and hours literally you would have blisters on your feet and not even care you would keep going and people don't understand in reality how hard it is to play soccer a lot of people don't know what it, they think that to kick a ball is real easy let me tell you guys even on football if you play tackle football the kickers they have a lot of talent because to kick a ball 50 yards away between two posts it's difficult you guys should try and kick a ball now in soccer to make a ball curve and hit the the uh, the 90 I don't know if you guys know what the upper 90 is is you know in the corner of the post and make it fit in there without nobody touching it and it not just slow but you have to make it curve the right amount you have to give it the enough power just so you can make the ball get there and still you still have two or three defenders on your feet trying to push you off the ball for me soccer is the best sport in the world it brings the world together around this time there is no war there is no hate it's just soccer and love and that's the best uh, I don't know if you guys know who Pablo Escobar, but at the time in Colombia, the World Cup brought peace to Colombia. Just soccer. That's the power of this sport worldwide. Now, I hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. I know it's not something usual, but I was just so pumped up for the game today. Mexico versus Brazil. And uh, I hope the best for Mexico and Brazil, of course, you know, but... I'll go ahead and catch you guys next time. Give me, give me your thoughts and comments on what's your favorite sport and why. And what's your uh, thoughts on my commentary. But all right, guys. Catch you guys next time. Hit that like button. Catch, uh, oh, I'm excited. Peace. <laughs>